Set up your BitPay wallet. We're going to show you how to set up your BitPay wallet for your PC or your Mac, depending on which type of computer you have. BitPay is one of the premier providers of payment for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, and we make use of BitPay as part of our checkout process, and we recommend people get a BitPay wallet. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the bitpay.com slash wallet website. You can see that up here in the browser. If you've clicked on a link, double check that that's where you're at. There's information on the page here about BitPay and BitPay wallets. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see the different devices that are available. We have a separate video on how to install BitPay Wallet on your mobile device. There's the iOS App Store, Google Play uh, for those options, Linux, Windows, Mac. Let's take a look at installing on a Windows PC. Just click Download for Windows. You're going to end up on a page that has a number of different installs. You're going to click BitPay.com. EXE and that's going to start downloading to your computer and we'll wait for it to finish downloading. It's finished downloading. We're going to launch it. Depending on your browser, it may be in a different location. So go to the downloads for your browser. Just click BitPay. We'll open it up. It's going to ask us if we want to install it. We'll click yes. Pick the language. Pick the location. Click next. If you want a desktop shortcut to make it easier to launch, check it. Click next and install. Installation's complete. Now we're going to launch BitPay. Now I'll show you how to install BitPay for your Mac. Click on the Mac OS Sierra link here. That will take you to a page where you see a, a bunch of different things and you can install with the bitpay.dmg. We'll click that. That will download. We'll just wait for the download to complete. Okay, download's complete. So depending on your browser, uh, you'll install it here on Chrome. You go to the bottom left, click on it. It opens the installer. So we drag BitPay into applications. Then you can open BitPay from your applications here, BitPay. It asks you to verify if you want to open this because you've downloaded it from the internet. So I will click open. It also may be the case on your Mac that you've got security settings hot. So you may need to go in system preferences and adjust that. So this is a screen you see when you first install the wallet. You can get started or restore from backup. I'll describe what restore from backup means later, uh, but let's get started. So we have some screens here that explain a little bit about Bitcoin, that it's currency, and that you control your Bitcoin. So let's create a password to encrypt the wallet. You'll have to enter it twice for confirmation. And then you can decide to have notifications by email. Now that we've entered our email, you can decide if you want to get updates from BitPay or not. You don't need to. And let's continue. Confirm that the address is correct. Now one thing to keep in mind is that you need to back up your wallet. And what that means is you're going to get a passphrase. And you can use this passphrase, the backup, to open a wallet on different devices, such as your phone or computer. And if you lose your backup, there is no ability to get your funds. So this is really important. So let's do this now. Uh, make sure nobody's watching you or there's no cameras looking. Also, if you take screen caps, those are not secure. Uh, so a uh, recommendation is don't do that. Let's enter the encrypt password. Okay, now we see a set of words. There's um, 12 words there that we need to write down in our password notebook. And it's important to write these down because this is how you'll be able to open up your wallet on other devices. And if you were to lose this device, it's the only way that you're going to get access to your money. So I'm just writing these down. The, or, the order of them is important. So take the time to make sure you've got it down correctly. And although it seems like they're just simple words, the total combinations of words and the order make it uh, virtually impossible for somebody to guess at and uh, so this is how they protect your wallet. Uh, you have to confirm that you've written it down, which I have, and now you verify it. So this is their way of checking to make sure that you did actually write it down. Uh, so you have to put them in order. Okay, uh, now that we've done that, let's confirm. Okay, now our Bitcoin wallet is backed up. So it's important to make sure you keep that backup in a safe place. You may want to even make two backups and keep them in safe places, such as a safety deposit box. We have other videos on, uh, on securing your passwords. Information here you need to acknowledge. So I understand that my funds are held securely on this device and not by a company. 
Uh, BitPay does not have access to your money. I understand that if this app is moved to another device or deleted, my Bitcoin can only be recovered with the backup phrase. So that's the backup phrase we just wrote. And then BitPay wants to be able to get a hold of you through email. And there are terms and conditions which you should read. And let's confirm and finish. And now we've got our Bitcoin wallet, which is ready. And this is our personal wallet. Now our wallet is ready. And you can actually install many wallets on here if you want. Um, it supports Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. It's a pretty simple user interface. You can receive money. That's how you're going to fund your wallet. So if you want to fund your BitPay wallet, you go to receive. And you can scan this QR code if you're familiar how to do that. Or you can use this uh, Bitcoin address. And if you click it, you copy it to your clipboard. So if you want to send Bitcoin from an exchange where you have an account, or if you've gone online and purchased Bitcoin and want to send it to a wallet, that's your wallet address that you'll use.